Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on everyone? Okay, so McFarlane just released uh, some new images of the Batmobile Beast. Yeah, man, this is based on the Death Metal um, series. This freaking Batmobile monster truck is freaking huge, as you guys can see in Todd McFarlane's hands. It's about the size of his chest. It is a big freaking beast. And you can actually uh, put a figure in it. There, You can actually take the top off and put, uh, I guess, Death Metal Batman into the Batmo Beast. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, it does look, um, when he was handling it, it did look pretty light. Uh, did look like there's a hollow, hollow plastic um, Batmo Beast. Uh, which is kind of good. I well, I think that's with all monster trucks. You know, they pretty much have like a a, sh uh, a shallow like you know piece over the uh, the beast itself, the monster truck itself. I think the heaviest part of the monster truck is the wheels, and I think the wheels. I don't know if they're rubber or plastic. Either way, it looks freaking awesome. Okay, in other news, we have uh, the Lex Luthor power suit. Uh, looks pretty interesting. I don't know if it's going to be a pickup or pass. Uh, as usual, it is lacking some paint apps. But other than that, it looks pretty decent. And then we have the Lex Luthor power suit, Justice League, the Dark Side War. Uh, this one actually looks pretty interesting, man. Uh, he comes with the throne right there. Um... Once again, the paint apps are kind of lacking, but it poss possibly is a custom. Uh, it does look pretty damn interesting, I have to admit. Um, I'm wondering how big this guy is. He does look pretty awesome. He might be a pickup if I can find him for a good deal. And then next up, we have the um, Batman in the hazmat suit, which actually does look pretty awesome, man. Uh, he looks way better than the... Uh, what was it the uh dark knight returns uh armored bat suits yeah that one just looked like crap this one actually looks pretty awesome and he does light up so yeah i think this is a definite pickup for me and also i don't know if you guys can tell me or not i don't know if this guy if there's a variant of this guy because it does look like he has a different uh chest piece right there a different light up bat signal on his chest i don't know if his I don't know if his mask lights up or if the bat signal lights up. If you guys know, let me know. Um, maybe both. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a pickup. For me. And then next up, you have the Superman DC Rebirth. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up. He does look nice, guys. But um, it looks like the same head sculpt that they use for the very first superman that mcfarland put out uh he does look good the body looks good but i don't he just kind of looks like the other superman except he doesn't have the red classic red underwear uh that we already got from mcfarland so i don't know let me know 
guys, is this a pickup or is this a pass? Being that it looks like they use the same head sculpt. And then they have the Flash animated series version. I probably going to pass on this one. I never picked up any of the animated um, animated figures from the lineup. I've never picked up the Batman or the Superman or the Green Lantern. They all do look pretty amazing. I mean, if I did find it from cheap, or like really, really cheap, I would probably buy them. But let me know, is this a pickup or is this a pass for you guys? So here's a repaint of the Unchained Superman. It is a Walmart exclusive. It does look really, really good, man. Um, it might be a pickup for me. I'm not really for sure. I do like the colors. I'm sure if I seen it in a person and, hey, for 20 bucks, man, I was really satisfied with the original version. I might pick this one up. It's a gold label. If I do see it in stores, it's probably a definite pickup for me. Speaking of repaints um, and gold label, they have the Asriel all silver armored version with the red Batman logo. Um, you know, I never picked up the other version. I definitely would like to see what is it, the Nightfall Batman version of this Asriel. Um, I, th I think that's what it's called with the blue and gold. This one does look pretty good being that I've never, I never picked up the original. This might be a pickup It is on pre-order. You can order it at Amazon, uh, not Amazon, Walmart. If it's still available, this was released, I think August 19th pre-orders went up. Don't know if it's still available. I'm pretty sure it could be. Um, but yeah, I think it's probably a pickup for me if I did find it in stores. And, of course, we've covered this in a previous video before, but here's uh, another image. I'm sure you guys have seen this image of Superboy Prime uh, from Infinite Crisis. Um, uh, seeing him in this light now, I'm kind of like, um, I don't know if this is going to be a pickup. Maybe if I did see him in stores, I'm not going to pre-order him. But if I did see him in stores, I probably would pick him up. Um... Let me know how you feel about the Superboy Prime. So here's a uh, different product shot, shot of Lobo. I'm sure you guys have seen this image before. Um, it's definitely a pickup for me. I don't have a Lobo in my collection. Uh, Lobo is one of my favorite, favorite characters in the DC Universe. Um, seen him in this picture, I mean, I, with the blue hair. I mean, I hope he comes with a little bit more accessories than just the, the hook and chain. He does look pretty damn amazing, um, I have to admit. Um, I've kind of... I'm definitely going to pick him up for sure. He's going to be, you know, scalpers. This is a scalper's dream because they know they're going to get... They know they're going to get at least 60, 80 bucks on the market for this Lobo when he first hits. Uh, the scalpers are going to go be after this guy. So, yeah, I would pre-order him wherever he's available right now in order for you to get him. Uh, probably... I don't know about Walmart, Target, maybe. Um, even McFarlane. I think McFarlane uh, does have a website where you can order directly through McFarlane. So that would be my uh, best option is to do that because I don't think you'll be able to find this guy in stores um, out there in the wild. Hopefully, but uh, my guess is probably not. And then we have Koto Khan. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. This guy is definitely a pickup. Uh, I can't wait to get this guy. I have this guy in Mezco form, but to have this guy in 7-inch form to go with the rest of my McFarlane Mortal Kombat figs, he is definitely a pickup. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, they have Joker. <laughs> Man, uh, you know, I, I'm being that I'm a sucker for Mortal Kombat, I'm definitely going to pick him up. He does look very much plain, but he does look very true to the character in Mortal Kombat. The head sculpt does look great. Um, I might have to add some coloring to him, uh, being that he's just simply green and purple. Um, he does look very plain. It doesn't look like your classic Joker. I feel like he is missing some colors. He does look very, like I said, very plain. But for me, it's definitely a pickup for this Joker, uh, most definitely. And then last but not least, we have Blight. Uh, of course, this image was released, I believe, August 17th. Uh, it is going to have the back uh, tentacles for this figure. Um... 
um, he's definitely a pickup. I've been satisfied with all the Batman Beyond figures. I love Batman Beyond. Uh, of course, it's going to be a pain in the ass to find at Target. You can pre-order at Target right now. Um, I think it's still available. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's definitely a pickup for me. All right, guys, let me know what you make of this uh these figures being released what are pickups what are passes let me know your thoughts in the comment section i just want to thank you guys for watching in i'll catch you guys in the next review peace out Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out.